Matthew Shepard, the gay college student who was brutally murdered 20 years ago in Wyoming, was laid to rest in the Washington National Cathedral today. Mola Lingi has more on the ceremony and Shepard's legacy from Washington. It's an honor reserved only for the nation's most revered public figures, a funeral service at the National Cathedral in Washington. It's where Matthew Shepard was interred Friday, 20 years after his brutal murder, his remains were finally laid to rest. Matthew's father, Dennis, says his son would have approved. He always had a fondness for the church and the ceremony involved with it. In 1998, Shepard, a gay University of Wyoming student, was beaten tortured and tied to a fence in near freezing temperatures. Found by a passing bicyclist, the 21-year-old Shepard later died at a hospital. The hate crime sent shockwaves through the country. For 20 years, Judy and Dennis Shepard have wanted to somehow memorialize Matthew's remains, but worried about vandalism. And that would just like killing Matt all over again. I, I couldn't deal with that. When the Shepherds donated some of their son's items to the Smithsonian, the museum suggested a place of inclusivity the National Cathedral. It welcomes everybody who is considered different. Matthew's funeral at the cathedral joins the memorial services of several U.S. presidents, national heroes like Neil Armstrong and John McCain. Matthew himself played a pivotal role in the LGBTQ movement. His murder shined a spotlight on LGBTQ hate crimes. It woke people up to the fact that the progress we were making was not complete and it was not universal. The hope is that Shepard will be a powerful symbol in this sacred resting place. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Washington, D.C. Well, after the public national cathedral service, the Shepard family attended a private internment ceremony at Matthew's final resting place.